Hi guys, Shane here from Drone's Life. This little series is the is the kit that we put together um, that we call our Success Big Daddy. Though this is a non-kiss uh, build, um, I really wanted to see how um, a beta type version of the Apex is compared to the Kiss. I already fly a, a 5H Avian with Kiss V2 and stuff like so this will be interesting. Uh, stuff you're going to need for today, obviously you're going to need an Apex frame. Um, as we go through the video series we'll, we'll introduce you what, what tools and what components you need. Um, but for the moment let's just get started. So what, what we're doing today, we're, we're going to create the a bottom section of the frame so that uh, it's ready to receive uh, your electronics. So your ESC, your flight controller, the VTX, etc., etc. Having all the parts on the table, all I've got is what I need today. Technically, I don't need the top plate, but it's there. We've got our four arms. We've got our two bottom plate. There's an upper and lower. It is a split level system. We've got our little arm key, um, and obviously our camera flex, which we don't need. So all we're interested in today is these parts um, and let's get started okay so first off we need our four arms and uh, marks on this bench and we need to uh, get four of these little press nuts as you can tell I don't have the smallest of hands um, so what we need to do is obviously insert them into there now, obviously they don't go down all the way because need to pull them through so they bite into the carbon go, go anywhere now in the kit you will find grab one of the chunky bolts um, and a 2.5 mil driver and what we're going to do is insert that into there just get it caught by finger so we know that it's nice and free we're not cross threading it and the last thing we're going to do is cross thread it driver in there wind them up wind it through and then all you're doing is pulling it so it's flush and then you can actually see it so it sticks out proud and then as you wind it up there you'll see that it actually goes flush with the arm so once you've done that undo your Oh, do, 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 do. there you go, and then we need to do that three more times. Okay, so we've got our arms done, they're ready. So let's push them up to the top of it because we don't need them for it. And what we actually need here is our top bottom plate. So what we need to do again is get four more press nuts. Okay, and these need to go in the four outer holes here. Oh, 
There you go, so you've got four press nuts on, the, on your bottom plate and then you've got your four press nuts in your arms. Okay, so now we've got all our press nuts in place on the plate, lost our forearms. What we need to now is you need to decide whether you're using a 20 20 or a 30 by 30 stack and we need to get uh, our mounts in place for that. Uh, in the kit you get a choice of three different screws. So you get some nice little short ones, or we'll call them medium sized ones there, and you get some long ones. We're actually going to be, because we're using a 4 in 1 ESC and uh, obviously the ESC in one stack, we're going to need the long ones. Um, so what we're going to do, and I'm using 30 by 30 as well, I just prefer 30 by 30. Um, so in the outer hose, so that in there and there in the kit is a nylon uh, nut which we need to put on. So I'm going to catch all four. One, two. Three. My sausage fingers allow me to. There we go. Another four. I always prefer to catch them by hand to start with. That way you know you're not cross-threading them. And there you go. And all we need to do is tighten these all the way down. Okay. Okay. There you go. So we've got our standoffs for our ESC and our flight controller, and we've got one that's pressed in there. So, what we need to do now is put this piece, or this piece, or that piece, and those four all together to create the base of the frame. So, you're going to need one of these tiny little anarchy bolts and there is it's like a washer but it's like almost like a guard as well that goes around it and then what you're going to do you're going to push that up to the bottom of the plate so it's nice like that and then you're going to sit your arm down on top turn it over you're going to need your 2.5 mil for this one don't do it too tight just nip it up so you can still move it and there's a real good reason for that in a minute and you'll find it out. So grab your next one. So to the bottom again. Just nip it up so you can see it. Freely move the arms around to line them up. Like so, 
in your third one. taking form now uh, right never done this before so don't laugh we need to get this key in the middle of there and apparently it can be a pain in the backside and it does it first time what the hell I literally watched Mr. Steel do his build and struggled so much to get this key in be able to cut the take. Right, so, and our fourth arm needs to go in there as well. Look. This is where <laughs> it probably all goes wrong and it doesn't freaking fit. Yeah. Get in the hole. Once they're all in, also you can do them up. Make sure they're nice tight, lock them in. Like so. Jesus, the stiff frame. It's a really stiff frame. So now what we need to do is obviously we need to do that to so sandwich them in. And in the kit of hardware, there are four bolts that don't have the thread all the way through, all the way down it. It's literally, I'll put it on the driver there if it helps the camera. You don't want to see my sausage fingers. It literally looks like that. So with a bit of wiggling, actually what you need to do on one of your washer stroke bolt guards again then go through and I find that if you just screw it it will make it will work its way through the arm obviously they're not gonna be in perfect place but he is going Just about to poke out, and then also give you the four as well. Because we need to get into place where um, we can attach the top plate. said I've never built this frame before I'm literally that one goes the looks do look better with this protector on it I mean to be fair the reverb and, and the alien all had them as well um,
So here we go guys, here's our frame, or the bottom section of our frame all built. Ready to have ESC and flight control to put on and also the motors. So the next episode, which will be tomorrow, we're going to put the ESC in the center, 4-1 ESC. Uh, and then we're going to make the motors and wire them in. So that's for tomorrow. We will see you then.